Hey, I've got my 1993 Power Rangers figures out here. So I have a little idea for them. I'm going to open up these 12-inch figures from 2020. I'm going to check these out because these 12-inch figures come with their weapons, and the old figures did not come with their uh, unique weaponry. So we're going to check these figures out, you know, see how they are. But they each come with their weapon, and I'm going to just see if the old retro figures uh, could benefit from stealing their weapons. See if obviously these are taller figures, but we'll see what the uh, what the weapons look like in their hands, because I really like the, the old figures like this, and uh, they only ever came with uh, their kind of sidearm weapon. So let's open up these 12 inch figures and see if the accessories match the old figures and just how the figures are uh, on their own. So let's open them up. So what we also have for reference are some of the monsters like the Putty Patroller or Golem in the uh, original Zoo Ranger show in Japan that I have been watching just for more education reference to the Power Ranger footage and things. Uh, the Putty came with the Sword of Goldar. Griftozer, or whatever his Zhu Ranger name is. Now, for some reason, Goldar can't, he doesn't have a hand that can hold the sword, but that'll be our reference of, you know, the right size of weapon uh, for this size of figure, so. I think we'll naturally start with the Red Ranger figure. I did notice these look pretty nice, really, for uh, what a lot of people call the shampoo bottle uh, figures. <laughs> There's these this very simple, uh, simple but big figures that smaller kids usually like. So, he's strapped in there. These are very big. They're big 12-inch figures. My god. And there you see he does come with his power sword, or dragon strike sword. Kill him here, Goldar. So it is pretty large. Actually, for these bigger figures, which actually does have a you know, kind of rotation on the arms, with the head, a little bit of movement there. The leg also has a little bit of the rotation. So, I mean, they're beyond the uh, five points. We even got some wrist, kind of, um, not directly at the wrist, but. Interesting that there's a trigger uh, finger. He doesn't have his holster like these do for the sidearm gun. So, again, these figures for being you know, kind of simple, I mean, he even has a molded uh, buckler there. The helmets are pretty nice. It does have a little bit more motion, but again, these are big figs, so he can hold his huge power sword. So we can kind of see that uh, for him it's pretty nice, but I like how the bodies here are a lot more realistic. It's not like a buff Power Ranger, he's just a very slim form there, so pretty cool just as they are. Uh, but, take his sword away. Let's try the old figure here. Pretty chunky, not gonna lie. <laughs> it is a little large for him. You can see the normal size a sword should be. It's kind of got an extra, uh, almost a foot in their scale. I mean, not a physical foot, but... For Goldar's sword, it's obviously a little big. I mean, it has the detail there, it has the Tyrannosaurus symbol and all that, but I was just always kind of disappointed these figures never had their weapons. The flip, flip head figures always had the, the proper weapons, uh, but not these. So, a little big for him. Not, not ideal size, as I was thinking maybe it would be. But, we're going to try the other ones and just see how they go. So, we'll do the Black Ranger here. Get his power axe, or... Moth Breaker out. Not Moth the Bug, but Mammoth, like a mammoth. So there we have the axe. Seem to all have trigger fingers, but they don't have the blaster. Kind of wondering if they were supposed to come with everything, and they didn't. Quite the mystery there. Here's the Power Axe Moth Breaker. Uh, this part does not move like you might think it would. It does have the Moth Mammoth symbol on there. Obviously these aren't full color what they are, but I am noticing these have uh, some attachment pieces. So I wonder if they will combine into the uh, cannon weapon. So this is going to have the same articulation of the other one, but he does have his own belt buckle with the Mammoth and his helmet. I wouldn't say there's any missing color. It's all colored in and Full detail for a big figure. He has his axe and it seems small in his hands versus that huge power sword. 
of course he can hold it, you know. Maybe that's why they have the trigger, because he can, can also wield the power axe as blaster. Not that he can really hold it very well. <laughs> But it did act as kind of a, a rifle or so shape. Yeah, these figures are pretty cool for the big ones. I mean, they look very much like the slim kind of actors that the footage would have. But again, I'm kind of getting them with interest of the weapons. So I'd say it's a little big, but it's a lot closer than the power sword. Especially if you kind of do the... Do that cannon mode, although it doesn't quite have the articulation needed to hold it properly. I mean, these are pretty well articulated for their time period, but not superly so. But, I mean, I would have to say that you know, the Power Axe sizes a lot better here with the Black Ranger. The, you know, this looks a little oversized with the sword. But this doesn't look too bad. If this figure came with that weapon, it would just be, eh, that's pretty good. They made it a little larger maybe than necessary, but it looks better than with the huge figure, seems like to me. I don't know if that's quite the proper, but I like that. The axe is pretty nice. How about the blue ranger? The Tricera ranger. Hmm, I'd say again, the size looks pretty nice here for the weapon. Got the two pieces. I'm gonna have these freaking straps all over the place. So there's a little bit of like kind of paint issues and things there just because these are cheaper figures but again he has his own buckle and then the helmet does look pretty nice. It's not as 3D probably as it should with the horn coming out like uh, even these original figures with the horn coming out there. But with the weapon, it's got his Triceratops symbol on there. This one uh, doesn't have the kind of other side that the, the others had kind of a hollow side, but locks together there as the full lance. I, again, I think just seems small to me that he's kind of holding this lance and it's it's smaller in his hand than it should be for the bigger figure. I mean, this was like a full like bow staff weapon, so not great with him. But look at this. I think it matches the size here really nice for dual wielding them as the separate pieces and as the staff. So again, maybe he kind of lacks the articulation needed to hold it really well, but I think the size is more this figure than the big one. So I'd say the axe and the lance are pretty good. I don't know why they went crazy with the power sword being huge, because it even seemed big with the 12 inch figure. Let's go ahead and get the pink ranger, Patera. Ranger. Oh man, she has a giant bow and an arrow. Why did they go so big? Unfortunately for the pink ranger, the leg is only going to go up and down because they have the skirt piece. So it's, she actually has less articulation than the others. It has the same twist. Her helmet looks like really awesome to me for some reason. I don't know why that just looks so much like, I don't know if it's just the shape is really accurate or what it is, but unfortunately her legs are not as poseable. She does have a cool uh, slimmer body and everything, so it's pretty cool. But, gonna have her bow, which is just crazy big. I don't know why they, this seems big even for, for this size. And it just kind of has to hold the arrow. I mean, she certainly doesn't have any articulation or to be, you know, kind of showing off with holding the arrow to it. But well, I'd say this weapon is not well served in her hand. It's kind of too big there. So, how about, let's see what it looks like with the vintage figure from the 90s. Again, it is big, not as big as the power sword, but it is like suddenly she has a long bow. <laughs> I mean, not just a standard kind of hold the arrow. I mean, between all of them, of course, naturally, the, I think the Black Ranger and Blue Ranger got the r better size. I don't know why they went absolutely insane with the power sword. That seems wild. This is passable, kind of makes it seem like a stronger weapon since it is bigger the, for the bow. Uh, in the Ju Ranger, the Japanese footage, uh, the bow weapon was uh, kind of more important than all the rest. It was kind of the key to defeating a lot of monsters, actually, more so than any of the other's individual weapons. But I really like just adding these to, uh, to the older figures, because they never had their weapons. And I was just looking for a way to give them their weapon, and I saw these 12-inch figures, and I was like, eh, 12-inch figures are, you know, I mean, they're, they're the shampoo bottle, they're the... 
for the kids, you know, get a bigger, I'd like to see the bigger figure instead of the smaller. Probably can take more of a beating playing around. Uh, what we could try, one of the blasters. Since these all, the bigger ones seem to have a, I mean, that doesn't look too bad. Holding the, in the sidearm, you kind of trade weapons, give your, I mean, again, it's smaller, but it looks better than the huge honking crazy weapons that they gave them. So. I'm not sure what I'll do with these. I'll likely give them uh, away to some kids, but I'm probably going to keep the weapons <laughs> for myself. That was why I bought them. Uh, but these are really nice, big figures. I don't know if there's somewhere to put them. They're just, they, they do look really good for what they really are. They're just $10 figures, but they come with that weapon. I'd say for the experiment, and then if you were uh, really ambitious, then I could, you know, add some of the yellow and, and details to these. Uh, since they're pretty big, it'd probably be fairly easy to paint in some of the extra detail, make it look exactly like the weapon on the show. So these are just, for some reason, the Red Ranger and Pink Rangers are gray, uh, black and blue. I think they got the better end of the deal here. They got the colored weapons and kind of better size for the classic. Of course, notably missing here is the Yellow Ranger and Green Ranger. Especially no Yellow Ranger is really kind of upsetting that you don't just have the, the standard group. But hopefully they'll do that because I hate to have my Yellow Ranger not have a weapon now. Uh, but I am looking at this and there is like a hole here. You were doing the combined weapon. I think it does. Lock in there. And then the Lance. Inner is the Lance's spot. Sword does have spot to put on there so it actually does form the cannon we're missing the yellow rangers daggers i hope they do make that because that would be really cool to uh, i think maybe it would look better uh, if they were all posed together doing their howling cannon you know all weapon combined blast look pretty cool um the peg hole doesn't make it look very good for the blue one but it's it's out and this looks more like the cannon barrel but, uh, we need the Yellow Rangers uh, daggers for sure because they actually went through the trouble to uh, add the combined spots for that. So you can put together a good uh, power cannon, howling cannon shit hot there. But we really need that Yellow Ranger to have the missing piece in uh, and to kind of complete this setup where they're blasting the, uh, the monster at the ground level instead of using the, the zords. Oh no, I think these look, work pretty well for the, the old older figure. So, and if you don't have the older figures, the big figures are actually really cool. And I do hope they finish them, especially a, a Green Ranger. So the Green Ranger figure would have his uh, dragon dagger. Uh, it doesn't combine with this cannon setup, but he has his own kind of unique flute uh, dagger weapon that would be pretty cool. Or if they gave him his, uh, his alternate sword for when he was uh, against the Rangers also, that would be pretty interesting. So I'm kind of back into collecting a lot of Power Rangers stuff because I'm watching the old Zoo Ranger show, the Super Sentai show that all the footage is from. If you want to see other cool collectibles I'm putting together like the Spin Fighters or uh, other figures this size from the, the old 1993 line, I have videos about them. So stick around for more uh, Ranger stuff or uh, plenty of other action figure things that I have here. So I'll see you in the next video.